Now I am going to talk about the vagocytic barrier of the innate immune system. And for example, as an example for that barrier is granuloma formation. And as you know that, if someone get infected by a bacteria, this bacteria will be engulfed by the macrophage and inside the macrophage, this uh, bacteria will be processed into peptides by means of lysozymes or by means of enzymes. Then, these peptides, they bind to major histocompatibility, class 2, at the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the major histocompatibility, class 2, together with a peptide derived from bacteria, will get expressed on the surface of the macrophage. And now, T helper 1 can see the peptide as it is a primary protein. And as you know that T helper 1 cannot see tertiary protein, but they can see only primary protein. T helper 1 will interact with a peptide in association with major histocompatibility, and this interaction will result in expression of a cytokine known as interferon gamma from T helper 1. This interferon gamma will recruit more macrophages to the area. And these macrophages will build a wall and or wall of the organism. So some of these macrophages will coalesce together, will coalesce together. And this will lead to formation of giant cells. And some of these macrophages will get transformed into a fusiform cells or epicelloid cells. These epicelloid cells will produce vitamin D, which, which enhances calcification. And calcification is very crucial and necessary for healing of granuloma. So now, as can be seen here, this is the granuloma. We have T helper 1. We have interferon gamma. We have this, the bacteria. We have macrophages. We have giant cell and we have the epicelloid cells. The recruited macrophages get activated and will produce a cytokine known as tumor necrosis factor alpha. And this cytokine will lead to liquefaction and formation of caseous material. So this is known as a granuloma and it is an example of vagocytic barrier of the innate immunity. Thank you very much, Professor Ahmed Bolad.